So this just happened. I cannot believe this. A new social media platform has just emerged and it's called Threads. And this is a new app created by the Instagram team and Meta, which is their parent company. Now, let me share this with you. It was launched during the week of my birthday. And I felt like Instagram has given me the biggest birthday present of all times, a new social media platform to explore with. Now, the plan for my birthday was that I was going to relax and just chill a bit for the entire week. When it comes to my birthday, I love celebrating it for a week because I can. And it's one of the best times for me to just really sit back, relax, and enjoy time, great quality time with family and friends. And so that was the plan and it didn't go as planned because of course I had to scroll through my phone during my birthday week and discovered there was a new social media platform that has just emerged. And of course, the Curious Cat and me had to see what this was all about. And so I decided to download the app and started spending time and going down the rabbit hole of exploring the app. And I must say, I did spend quite some time exploring the app. So what is Threads? Now, this is an app where you can share text messages and join public conversations. Now, when you hit your home feed, it will show you threads by people that you follow and also recommended content by creators that you haven't discovered yet. So it's a great way of just having conversations with people online. And with a thread, you can publish up to 500 characters. It is really up to you if you want it to be just a text message or if you want to include an image or even a video that's up to five minutes long. Now, I really like this because there is no pressure as to whether you want to include a photo just like your Instagram feed. Like you don't have to worry about the aesthetics much because it is just the way it is that it is an acceptable post that it is just going to be text-based only. The best part about a thread is that you can include a link on a thread. And with the content that you are posting, you don't have to recreate the new content. You can easily share your thread content onto Instagram. With threads, it's really easy to navigate around the app. In comparison with other social media platforms, as of recording this video, it does not have a lot of features for you to fumble and mess around with. I like how there is no pressure to include an image and to ensure that you have a beautiful aesthetic feed just like your Instagram. So you can choose to just publish a text message without having to upload a photo or a video. And the best part is you can include links. In just the first 24 hours since Threads launched, 30 people million had already signed up. Now, to give you a comparison, it took Twitter 780 days to get 10 million users. Head to your profile and tap on your photo, and on the top right-hand corner, you'll notice three hamburger lines. Tap on that and you'll see Threads. Tap on that and it'll take you to the place where you can download the app. And all you have to do is follow the instructions step-by-step step and you'll be able to create your own Threads account. So I'm taking you through the navigation bar, starting with the home icon that you see on the left hand side. This is where you'll be scrolling through the threads. So these include threads posted by people you follow and recommended content from new creators you haven't discovered yet. Now, if you like a thread, you can click the heart button, or if you want to comment, tap on the bubble and you'll be able to reply to the thread. And all you have to do is write your comment on it and hit the post button. And you also have the ability to repost it. So all you have to do is tap on the double arrow and you can repost it directly onto your feed or as a quote on your feed. Let's take a look at reposting it as a quote. And there you see you have it as a quote and you can share your thoughts. And if you want to share it to Instagram, you can add it to the story or post it to your Instagram feed. Next is the search icon where you can search for new accounts to follow or you can simply browse through the suggested accounts. Now, I see Duncan James. He is from The Maths Show. And let's just try and tap on him and see what he has posted on his threads. So you can see his feed. He's only posted one thread. And you can also see the replies that he has replied to. 
So if you want to follow, we can just tap on the follow button. And in this case, I'm just having a look at this account and just showing you an example. To compose a thread, just tap on that icon there and you'll be able to share a thread. And in this case, I would love to share all about my birthday celebration. It was a great birthday week indeed. I had so much quality time with family and friends. Now, you can choose to share this as just a text message only or you can share this as a text message with a image or a video of up to 5 minutes long. So it's really up to you. No fuss, no pressure. Share it as how you want to share it. I do want to share a photo so I'm just going to tap on the paper clip and select a photo. And there you have it, there I'm sharing a photo of my birthday celebration with my beautiful pink balloons. Once you have uploaded the photo, all you have to do is hit the post button and it will post for you. And then once you do that, you'll be able to see that it is posting and there is a button for you to view once it's posted and you can tap on it to just view how it looks like on your feed. Also tap on your profile on the lower right hand corner to see how it looks like on your feed. Next is your notifications. Just tap on the heart and you'll be able to see all your activity, the replies, mentions and also the verified accounts who have connected with you. Next is your profile. So just tap on the little icon there and it will take you to your profile. Hit up and you will see a globe icon there. Tap on it. And it'll take you to your settings for both your threads and Instagram account and head over to the right hand side, tap on it and you have more settings and take a look at the notifications. You can pause it or not and then head over to the Instagram. It will take you to your Instagram account. Now in my Instagram account and you can toggle back to your threads account and if you want to edit your profile, hit the button. You can edit your bio and the link and if you want to change your name, you'll have to do it on your Instagram account. To thread or not to thread? Now, in my opinion, it is worth exploring this platform. It does not have a ton of complicated features for you to fumble around with. And the best part is that you do not have to start from scratch to grow a following because it's interconnected with Instagram. I will be sharing more videos on threads, so I'll see you in my next video.